praise God. So what, what, what is the whole drive and, and the, the inspiration and the influence behind what it is that Matthew does? You know what I'm saying? What, you know, just kind of touch on that. What, what, what's that driving force, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that keeps you doing what you do? And, and why do you do what you do? Well, the, I would say there's three reasons. Um, probably the first one is that I have children, you know, and a wife. Um, but I have children and I realize that speaking to them, right, you know, my kids are young. And there's things in my head and in my heart from my experience uh, of living life that the only way I can deposit it to them is by talking to them. And I remember when I was young and my dad used to talk with me and my, and my sisters and uh, we didn't want to hear it. <laughs> so, right. so if I can put it in a song, if I can put it in what I'm doing, they'll get old enough to sort of appreciate that. Right. So that's, that's probably the first thing. Second thing I would say is that uh, the church means a lot to me. Um, I believe that Christian rappers, and one day I'll talk to you about, you know, I, I don't, the term Christian rapper, I use it because that's what everybody, holy hip hop and whatever, right. but I'm hoping one day I'll be able to have the discussion, and I do this on my podcast, have the discussion about, I feel that we as rappers, we should view ourselves as priests and kings. Or, 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 you know, that we have a role, not necessarily fivefold ministry role, right. but we have a role in the church. And I see that we, ha we can benefit the church because we have a way of saying things. A pastor can put out, you know, a 20 CD, 20 audio messages, and we can say the same thing in one song. Bam! And they exactly. get it. We got the prescription for the church. Probably the third thing is because... I love doing music. I just love it. That's what's up. It's always in my mind. I'm always thinking about songs. You ever be thinking about songs? Does it? How does oh, that yeah. feel? Oh yeah. Because it's like a, it's annoying a little bit. Because it's like you're always <laughs> thinking of it all the time. Yeah, man. Even when you know it's time to sleep, you just stuff and run into the spirit, man. <laughs> but that's awesome. You know what I mean? That you uh, do this, you know, to be able to communicate a message, primarily of the gospel. You know what I'm saying? The redeeming message and the life-giving message of, of Christ, you know, through your music and um, that, that's awesome. You too, actually. You know. You too. Hey, I've seen well. your delivery of, you, you have a very strong ah, delivery yeah. of, 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 your, of your music and of your lyrics and all that. And I, that's enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it, very enjoyable. I try to be a little, 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 whatever. And you know what I'm saying? But you like, listen, <laughs> this is the gospel. That's it. <laughs> I praise God for you, man. So just um, uh, let the people know, you know, a little bit about what you uh, got going on, because I know you got several things that you got going on. The podcast, you know, yeah, the, how people can so you know, okay into the podcast and what can, what can they expect from um, the podcast. So here, here's what happened. I I started the podcast a couple years ago. Um, but I was very, very nervous about when, see, you, you've been doing this, so you know what no, happened. I haven't been doing it that long. No, listen, listen, here's what you've been doing. Here's <laughs> what you've been doing, Pastor uh, Rick. You, you've been out here, you were, you're pastor in a church, and you got believers that, who were called to you. And I feel that uh, us artists, that we have people called to us. And when you put yourself out there, you're going to get attacked by the enemy, by the devil, um, and you put yourself on the line. And I was very nervous about that uh, a lot, you know, because... So I would do the episodes, but I, I basically had a soft opening. All these years, it's been soft. It's been, hey, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then go back to work. Um, and so I've got a lot of episodes on my website you know, of, of things that I did. I actually did an episode where I have a friend who delivered her own baby. She talked about how she delivered her own baby 
in the front seat of her car during a blizzard at the hospital with her two kids in the back seat. That's wild. That's okay, crazy. so so I'm saying I'm, it's not Jerry Springer. I'm not. It's not. It's not <laughs> that. But what I'm saying is, is that I'm talking to people with different experiences. So and I got a I got a lot of stuff that 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 I try to do and and share music, share experiences, stuff like that. So anyway, so but it's been soft. I haven't advertised. So right. and I know what's gonna happen. So in other words. I've got season one of the podcast. All those episodes are on the website. Season what two. What is the website? Oh, oh, it's uh, m3dots.com. 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 Correct. So yeah, that's right on the screen. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> it looks it looks upside down to me <laughs> and backwards. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so but season two, I've got them recorded, and what I what I'm go, my goal is. Finish up season two, get them all edited, and uh, 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 got an engineer. An engineer last night told me, hey, look, man, I'll do the, let me do the sound. Let me do the engineer for your podcast. Uh, and I was like, oh, my God, man. that's going to free me up to be able to do more stuff. So I got to, so good. season two, I'm going to start dropping those episodes in late August, early September. Gotcha, gotcha, man. Now, you know, before we had mm-hmm. uh, started the uh, episode, we was, we was touching on some things, and uh, we was talking about how we we not the church police or anything like that. You know what? I, you know? I, had, to, I had to put my badge away. I had, to, <laughs> I had to retire my church police badge. <laughs> used, to, used to be the church look, police? Look, look. <laughs> and, and you know what? You know how, you know how like, police officers, you got some people who are detectives, right? You got some people who are the parking meters or whatever. You get... Right. I, I was more like the parking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was, I, 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 that, that was, I, I was, uh, so, so my area of, of, uh, my area of expertise that, that I used to, um, uh, go after was when the pastors would want to touch and, and, and push the people down. Yeah. And, and, and so, I came up with a term called the courtesy drop. Well, I heard somebody use it, and I've been. Have you ever heard that term, courtesy, courtesy drop? drop? Nah. You've never heard the term <laughs> courtesy drop. So that term has taken over my life, okay? Because I was the because so so this this was this was my spiel. That let's say you as a pastor, you get up there, you've been preaching. Sometimes I felt that pastors that go to do the touch. Sometimes, you know, just like me and you, we're not always feeling anointed. Right. The anointment always ain't flowing sometimes. It's right. like no big deal. So the members of your church should be able to play along <laughs> and just go ahead and with you. So, so when the pastor put his hand on your head, you may not feel the power of God. But just go down anyway. That's a courtesy drive. <laughs> just go down it. So that's what I, I'm, right. just, I'm, 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 I'm being facetious a little bit. But what I, my point is, is that... Uh, I had to retire my badge and just let people be who they're going to be. Right. And be who they're going to be, man. Um, but at the same time, not not shying away from um, sharing some, some, some things that you may see that's, uh, that's not biblical and you want to kind of touch on in order to, you know, free people up, man. You know what I'm saying? Doctrinally, it's just, just some things that can be freeing to them but at the same time not being the police like I'm out to attack the church or anything like that but just bring enlightenment and and, and encouragement and awareness uh, to to some troops man that that, that need to be uh, you know uh, revealed you know I think I I don't know I don't know if it was Paul or if it was Peter who said this um, or if it was in the book of Matthew Uh, you can catch more flies with honey uh, which 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 apostle said that? Well, you know which apostle said that? <laughs> He's a heretic. <laughs> no, but I think you can you can win people. You know, he didn't win souls as well. So okay, there's a scripture, right? right I think right, there's a scripture. Right, I think yeah. that's I think that's somewhere in the Bible. It's somewhere in there. It's, no, um, it's, no, but but um, I think that I think that you actually get more people to decide to come to the Lord if they see some people who are actually nice people. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know, Pastor Rick, I heard about, and this sounds crazy to me, I heard about, um, you know, there's, I, I think God is upset with homosexuality. At least that's what 
a lot. I hear, you know, you turn on the past. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, you know, that, there's, oh, yeah, right, they, people, they be snapping off about homosexuality, right? And so I heard about this church that part of their church's mission was to go out and stand outside of military funerals and say, God hates. You know what I'm saying? That's so they said outside of, you, you. I don't know if you ever heard of that before. Not uh, military uh, funerals. Military funerals because because in the military they allowed, right? you know, like like they kind of changed some policies or whatever. So I was thinking to myself, boy, that is a rough way to be as a church. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I, you know, I may agree with the stance about it, but there's a way you can be. You don't have to right. be exactly. and signs and and exactly, I'm it's, I'm like I'm glad you touched on that man that that whole topic yeah. just of homosexuality because it may be somebody who's watching this that um, you know is a homosexual and going through that and feel like man God hates me because of what I'm you know currently uh, in right now so could could you just kind of uh, touch on God's uh, uh, love uh, for all people, even people that may be in that situation, that although he doesn't uh, condone it or, or that's not our design to, to be in such relationships, but at the same time, even in that state, there's still that grace and that mercy and that love that God is extending for uh, not only these type of individuals, but everybody. What he said. That's <laughs> What he said is the truth, uh, uh, and I endorse this message. What he just said, because <laughs> I I put like this: um, there's a lot of struggles that people struggle with, and you know my struggle is different than that area of struggle. And I would say that God has shown me some grace. Things could have been horrible in my life if He had not shown me grace. Now, I believe that everyone has an opportunity to get grace. And what that means is, is that <clears throat> I believe that God has done his best to describe himself in the Bible and in our, in the way that the world operates, tries to describe himself as a father. And so a father that loves his, 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 his planet, his creation, his people. So in that scenario, my son uh, and my daughter, but my son who, you know, he's talking. If he knows that there's some things that I'm upset with him about or that he's done some things or doing some things that doesn't line up with how his parents my wife and I are wanting him to be. He, at this stage in his life, runs to us and says, Daddy, I'm sorry, or Daddy, I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to be upset with me, and cries or whatever. And I think that's the state that whether you're, no matter what ailment people are dealing with, if they can view themselves in that mode where you run to the person right. That's good. as opposed to running away. Because as you get older, because I know as a teenager and then as an adult, just like Adam, you want to hide, exactly. the, you, you know what I'm saying, and you want to run away and stuff right. like that. So I think that what, and, and, and that's, that's where it's like I have to, okay, I've got challenges in my life or I got things, I, I know that where, what, what I enjoy doing the most, I've heard that the Bible says that it's wrong. Right. And I just need to, the, 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 I think the, the power of choice, this is what I think. I think the power of choice, I think what God set it up is so that we would choose him versus the thing that we like to do the most. Oh, absolutely. And, and so then you can go out and society is going to give you permission, it's going to give you context, it's going to give you a bunch of doctrines to make what you're doing, you can do it, you should do it, and blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't take away a father's love for his son or daughter. And that's the way I, I, I'm hoping that 
I can communicate that in my music. I'm hoping I can c communicate that on a regular basis that God loves you. And I know it's such a cliche. It's such right. a cliche right. because when it's it's a cliche that that people don't always demonstrate that. But I feel it is true in my life. Absolutely, and it's in mine as well, man. And, and that's good, man. You gave a great, you know, analogy of you know the son running to the father. I just kind of had a picture of the yeah, the well, prodigal. Cause oh, yeah. that's in the Bible. Like, yeah. you know what? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta look that up, man. You know, that's see, that's what you, that's what happens when you talk to a pastor. He gonna give you the Bible. <laughs> You gave it to us too, man, and, and, and if, you know, people can see God, you know, in that light um, as that loving father who, um, you know, is just there with open arms and wants to, you know, heal their hearts, man, and give them life, you know, and, and just find their rest in him, you know, that, that's what it's about, man. I feel, and, and you know, the, the, the funny thing about it is, is that there are a lot of tough things that right now in my life. I think about as as a non babe in Christ, a little bit older, and you know how like when you got your son or your daughter, if you've got a teenager or you got a young adult, they're questioning life differently than your five year old, six year old. Right. And that's where I kind of feel I am with with the Lord a little bit. It's like, okay, Lord. And then I can list all these things that bother me about society, about my own life, about my friends, about my family, about, there's a lot of, pro but, and, and in theory, it should make me be like, Psh, forget the church. Right. In theory. Because that's sometimes, the, that's sometimes when you, so somebody says, I don't, you know, church is blah, they got all these lists of arguments. Right. I remember, I don't know if guys ever done this with you. But when I had some of my objections about church, he said, well, why don't you be the thing that you uh, are complaining about? Why don't you, why don't you be, you want, pe you want people to not be hypocrites in church? Why don't you be a not hypocrite? It's like, it's a challenge right. rather than a right to criticize. You know what I'm saying? Have you dealt with yeah, that before? Yeah, absolutely. How did absolutely. God deal with you on that? I mean, I, I don't want to turn the interview around, but no, I mean, no, no, that's how, good. how did that's he? Good. That's exactly how how the Lord is, like, in, instead of just uh, fault finding and, and pointing out, oh, this is this and this is that, it, it, it's you be a, uh, uh, I'm giving you grace, influence, divine influence. To Look be, at that. Look at that. Plug. To, to, right. He gave it divine. <laughs> Go ahead. To, 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 to be that living epistle, you know what I'm saying, to demonstrate the, 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 the non-hypocrisy, um, the unconditional love, the, uh, the, the, the freedom to... Uh, uh, support you know, a ministry uh, willingly and just, just several things. So he 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 allows you to be that as opposed to just being like we were saying the the, the church police and and and, and point the finger saying look how wrong <laughs> right. this church is or what they're not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gives you that grace to 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 be that living epistle. You know what I'm saying? To what people are, you know, man. What I thought, even what I thought the church was or what a Christian was, that's not the case. It's a good you know point. That's and not I, the case. And I think that the, the two greatest commandments, <clears throat> um, based on my memory of reading something somewhere in the Bible, is talking about our relationship with God individually and then our relationship with people. Right. So if those two things are the most important commandments and everything else hangs on that, okay. So now it's it's not about beating somebody up over their lifestyle per se. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's if it's about the people, then I, I think I think that just that what that does is that gives me a different operating system yeah. to 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 function from rather than sometimes the way that we traditionally judge each other because you know. Yeah. That's what's up, man. But there y'all have it, man. This we got the brotherhood, man, and and I'm enjoying this guy, man. You know, y'all gonna <laughs> see him. <laughs> y'all gonna see more of him. And I just wanted to really give an introduction of this brother. You know, he's gonna be actually co-hosting, you know, uh, Die TV 
Uh, oh, be, you know what I'm saying? He made an announcement. Yeah, oh, that's, snaps. That's, that's what's going to be going down. Yeah. Man. So we're not going to keep y'all too long. This is just the first of many. And uh, there you have it, man. Signing off, Dot TV, Rick of Vessel, Matthew Walker, also known as M. Dot Dot Dot. And say, say the other one again, Matt. Matt, say, say, say the other one. Just, just say the other one. This just got. Hey, it. man, you said. It. <laughs> you know, until I get it right. You know well, you know, I uh, Matt Ellipsis. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, man. Bless you, sir. Bless you too, bro. <laughs> Y'all be blessed. Till next time, peace. We gotta keep freezing. <laughs> oh, y'all made it, huh? That was exactly. Hey. Wow, look at your timing. This was free download is brought to you by M3Dots.com. The Maddie Ellipsis District. Pre orders available now. M3Dots.com. Thank you for your support. Crossroads, time to plan my life agenda. Tired of this minimum pay, minimum wage. Being an 11 hour a day, intention slave. Harboring anger, resentment, cuts my talent. Since dormant with dust built up, what's the dilly? Just because I'm not discussing smoking Phillies, average b-boy won't feel me. Please, if I got to flip a verse in Chinese, I'ma bring the industry principalities to the knees with the ease of the skis. As I appease your spiritual appetite, now with Buddha Tai Chi, your Ali. Right cross movement, as a fanatic, I'm graphic erratic, it's so keep at it, garage of the attic, back of the car while I practice church of the bar while I rap it, environment, it don't matter, I change it, thermostatic, emphatic, rap addict, injecting the cannon, have at it, I bite it, I ride it, you grab it, I tap it, my blessings like water, eternal last, and keep you from burning ash, and my goals to cash it like Joseph Jackson, five action lot, I can't let time pass me by, cause time flies on the far side, and we're working full and part time, jobs tied, spending my time, sticking the mud pie, see mud fly, what pilot my lifestyle over clouds, and keep my music, Bumping loud M3 Dots.com Do you want to know about this district? Do you want to know what we at? Your inheritance is up in this business Join the family, it's easy I'll pick you up Sunday morning Times I let my guilt dictate, milk my mistakes. When I fall down, I won't get up straight. Please, no longer turn to kick my nose bleed. I'm a new breed, clever with a Pauline creed. So my progress is steady. If I'm gonna make the cheddar, I've gotta be willing and ready. Freddy, the G stands for gotta be your point. So when you hear that Maddie Lips, it's just say that's, that's my, my joint. joint. Won't get that response by dragging my heels, by lagging my bills, or bragging about some rapper skills. It just so happens I feel the need of the people, the eater, the lethal injection, the hip hop selection. And Craver for basin on the street that will erase and dismantle the sinister perimeter cancel the effect of the ample secular samples mindsets that sense trends that leads to death's end so since I'm a doorman I'm giving you the floor plan I'm a custodian of the mysteries I'm a dispenser of strength so as your cup you can hold it up by turning the volume up let it bump what is the moral I got to be assiduous and thorough strategically strike from my burrow underground not despise where this all began I'm an infantry lyricist to study war with my do you want to know about this district? Do you want to know where we at? Your inheritance is up in this business. Join the family, it's easy. I'll pick you up Sunday morning. Whenever the church doors are open I won't accept hand me down generation curses I'm handing out blessing treasure from this earth and vessel my hustle Text that will tussle my mesh and muscle Tighten my belt buckle birthright or morsel I run with the force that will keep me on course like a thoroughbred horse So bet your bottom splitting dubits on me I see the forehead and I'ma put my rock through it when discouraged me talks, I turn the beat up And become one with the track and beam up like a Star Trekkie Don't let me open up my mouth and prophesy My deliverance decree, what shall be my stands Discipline proves that diligence rules And all these ignorant fools, that's the ignorant lose I'd rather spend one hour in the library And get some information I'm gon' use before I'm buried I plan to be productive, I structure my business So I can be an effective witness, not listless Falling in the kingdom, not starting to stall What is your problem? I'm letting chips fall 
falling when they falling I'm answering the call and gripping the microphone like a spalding Carry my cross in like my boss did Looking for the laws here shine like Give a revelation's high sight so they can see that M3.com Do you wanna know about this district? Do you wanna know where we at? Your inheritance is up in this business Join the family, it's easy Do you wanna know about this district? I'll pick you up Sunday morning Your inheritance is up in this business Join the family, it's easy m 3 I'll pick you up Sunday morning I'll pick you up Sunday morning